because it's been working. I'm going to talk about a few of my favourite things, which is how I ended up releasing my first CPAN module this morning. Uh, I like CPAN, and I like Catalyst. I like standard markup too, uh, which means that the markup validation service is obviously something that's pretty useful for me. And there's a lovely CPAN module, which helps you interface with it, so you can validate your code, which is HTML, from your Perl modules, the lovely automated tests. I tend to rant about XHTML and how you have to pretend it's HTML, and that's a long story. <coughs> uh, but uh, there's an HTTP accept header, which is supposedly lovely, except for a few little issues with Internet Explorer. Uh, but Tom came up with this lovely module for uh, of sending the appropriate content type to browsers so that when he was testing his modules, he could uh, have uh, well formed this errors throw up in his browser if he made a mistake. Uh, and somehow I made Spanish report a mouth of others that I ended up maintaining it, and that was the first module which was assigned to me on CPAN. Uh, but I don't really have to find the first CPAN module because I didn't write it myself. Uh, but I love Moose because it's meant when I have written my own CPAN module, it can be used very, very easily like this. I've written Catalyst Trick for View Markup Validation, uh, which had to write a module too, but that was amazingly easy. And if you plug this module into your Catalyst project, it will pass all your front end code through the markup validator using the web service so that you can have error reports if you make a mistake in your templates. And the uh, <laughs> Elzebub uh, saved me. He has, he, I dropped this module near him, and he came up with a wonderful two-minute code review, which made it better. So MST is one of my favorite things as well. <laughs> uh, we came across Catalyst Next Daughter. Tom pointed me at that. Uh, and it made it really easy to wrap up my standalone little PM file and actually put it in with all the make files and a test project and everything I needed to actually release it on CPAN. So that made my life really easy for getting this published. So between the community and Perl and CPAN and all these wonderful tools, I had this idea on Wednesday and it was on CPAN today and it's my first CPAN module and I did all the work on my commute because I've got a day job which keeps me busy during the day, and I got blood bought for the Xbox last weekend, which keeps me very busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, almost entirely on my commute, I managed to produce this. It was easy, the community made it easy, CPAN made it easy, my favourite things made it easy. Uh, other favourite things, which I could go on about, favourite people, favourite things, but these things are relevant to this. Uh, and maybe next year I'll talk about what I did on my summer holidays, continuing the theme of school holiday project homework titles. <laughs> Thank you.